I thought I'd uh, just explain um, eighths of an inch for any of you that don't know out there. You know, this is using the metric system. Uh, I'm in Canada, and they use, well they use the metric system, but the imperial system, um, you know, is your inch and foot and that type of thing. You know, in construction we still use that. <laughs> we don't we don't measure something and say that it's 850,000 millimeters or what have you. You know, we just say something is six foot two or um, what have you. So uh, I want to just explain. Um, I've been in the trades for over 20 years and I do drywall, boarding, and taping or plastering as some people call it. And so when I train helpers to figure out how we usually cut drywall uh, to the eighth of an inch. So two and an eighth or two and five eighths, two and seven eighths, that type of thing. So we're always dealing with eighth of an, eighth of an inch. So I just want to give a little uh, tip, if you want to say, if you're not familiar with your eighths of an inch, this is the easiest way to remember. So and this is this is how I explain it to all my helpers. Okay. So we're just going to look at between the three and the four here, just so that it's um, uh, it's easier to see than starting at you know zero and one, right? So we're just going to go between three and four. Now on now if you look here. Um, at the beginning of the inch, we'll call that zero, and then uh, so three is zero, and four will be one inch in between there. So the halfway point is obviously obviously a half inch. Then when we divide the halves in half, we got a quarter inch. So if you remember money, that's easy to remember, is that we got one quarter, one half, three quarters, and then one or one dollar, so to say. So um, providing that you're from Canada or the States. I don't know how pounds work and, and that type of thing. But um, the easiest way to figure out an eighth of an inch, first of all, there's eight eighths in one inch. So if you can remember your odd numbers, that is the easiest way to remember your eighths. So um, from zero to eight, think of your odd numbers, which is one, three, five, and seven. So all the halfway points between the um, so between zero and a quarter inch, that is an eighth of an inch from here to here. So it's actually the, we have the, the longest tick here. Uh, this one is like the one inch mark. The small, the shorter one is the half inch mark. This mark and this mark are even shorter. Those are your quarter inch marks. And then the next smallest, the next smallest one, those are all your eighths of an inch. So there, 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 and there. So if you could start from zero and go to eight, think of your odd numbers, which is one, three, five, and seven. You know, it's easy to know two, four, six, eight, but the one, three, five, and seven is a way to remember your eighths of an inch. So at the beginning, we have one eighth, the next one is three eighths, five eighths, and seven eighths. Seven eighths is obviously closer to the end. One eighth is close to the beginning. So three and five are the only ones that you need to, um, to remember. So remember your odd numbers, one, three, five, and seven, those will give your eighths of an inch. Now on, on this, this measuring, um, on this ruler here, these every little tiny tick, there's actually 16 ticks between zero and one inch is 16. So the first little line is one sixteenth of an inch, then we got two sixteenths, three sixteenths, four sixteenths, five sixteenths, seven sixteenths, um, on and on and on. Again, if you remember your odd numbers from 0 to 16, all those sixteenths, uh, all those odd numbers are going to be your sixteenths. So we got 1 sixteenth, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 15. And those are all your 7s seven, seven and 8s. So, you know, if, if someone says, I need a 3 eighths drill bit or a hole that's 3 eighths of an inch, this may help you uh, with measuring, you know, if you already know this, great. But I've worked with drywallers that have been uh, hanging drywall for like ten years, and they don't know their eighths of an inch. And they work in the trade and get paid good money, and they don't know their eighths of an inch. So uh, usually, when I hire someone, I say, "Hey, go cut me a piece of drywall uh, four and three eighths." And if they can't figure out where four and three eighths is on a tape measure, uh, they don't have a job much longer. So. Um, so I just thought I would explain that real quick, uh, take some of my practical experience, and maybe they'll help you, you know. Uh, but the one thing that I've started doing lately is is actually using millimeters 
with some things. Uh, when it's really, really detailed things, then uh, I might use millimeters to measure things.